While much of the scientific focus is on the race to develop a vaccine for the coronavirus, researchers are also working toward new antibody treatments, and those could be ready much sooner than a vaccine. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge here with the latest on one of those promising candidates. Yeah, Jason, you know, we're already using antibodies in the form of convalescent plasma to help patients that are fighting COVID-19. But this research could take that concept to the next level by creating a drug to not only treat those infected, but also potentially help prevent infections. Biotech company Regeneron says phase three trials are now in the works for their combination antibody treatment for COVID-19. The drug is called regn cov 2 It's a combination of two antibodies, the proteins the body makes naturally to fight infections. The clinical trials will evaluate the drug's ability to prevent infections in people who have had close contact with an infected person, like members of their household. It will include 2,000 U.S. patients at about 100 sites. Here's how Regeneron's CEO explains it. We are going to give people the actual antibodies. When we give you these antibodies, if you haven't been infected, it should block you from getting infected. The antibody drug is also being tested in patients with COVID-19, both hospitalized and not hospitalized. That portion of the testing will include nearly 3,000 patients in the U.S., Brazil, Mexico, and Chile. Regeneron was awarded a $450 million contract to manufacture and supply the antibody treatment as part of the federal government's Operation Warp Speed. That would make the treatment available immediately if the clinical trials are successful and the drug is granted an emergency use authorization from the FDA. Now, if everything goes well with the large-scale trials, the drug could be available as early as this fall. Regeneron has already started ramping up production and says if it's okayed by the FDA, it would be available in the U.S. at no cost. That really would be great news if that comes through. And, Doc, when it comes to antibody treatments, are there any others in the works? Well, there are. Eli Lilly and Absolera started testing their antibody treatments in humans in, on human, in humans on June 1st, and there are a handful of other companies that are pursuing this type of treatment as well. The thing is, many experts consider antibody treatments as a bridge to get us to a vaccine. So there's a lot riding on this research as well. Back Boy, to you. And I'm sure everybody has their fingers crossed for sure. All right, Doc, thanks. Our COVID-19 data page at clickondetroit.com features updated information that goes beyond the daily numbers of just cases and deaths in Michigan. You can get a look at how the numbers break down by zip code, along with breakdowns by race and ethnicity and even gender. Just click at the very top left of any page on clickondetroit.com and select COVID-19 data from the list. That'll take you to a page full of information and expert advice to help you through the pandemic.